Wait, did she say theoretical physics? Oh no, I have a I have a degree in theatrical physique. Uh oh, I may not be qualified for this job. Hold on, I think the elevator's out. It's okay, I'm a professional. I've got a degree in theatrical physics. Hey, what's going on guys and gals? Pauly Jr. here and welcome to Black Mesa version 1.0. Full release out on Steam. I'll put a link down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself. It is, uh, what's today? March 12th, 2020. Why am I asking you? It's, uh, I think it's 1999 and it's fully released now finally after like 127 years in development it is finally here and again link down below check it out for yourself we're gonna jump in and get started on a brand new campaign um i do actually have an old save from 2016 this is where we left off in my old let's play but that was four years ago and i kind of want to start over again this was just me fooling around a few minutes ago to test my visuals and audio and recording software and all that but i would like to start from scratch because the game has changed a lot since the last time we played and i don't want to miss anything and i would like to uh like to start from the beginning and we'll get through this fast we're gonna do we're gonna do a uh maybe an episode every couple of days and we'll we'll finish it this time around i promise all right let's jump in and get started black mesa inbound chapter one away we go and if you're new here if this is the first time you've seen this if you're not returning from my old campaign, Black Mesa is essentially a Half-Life, uh, fan-made Half-Life reimagining. So it's essentially that first game, Half-Life, from many, many moons ago. And we are on the tram, heading into work. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you later. Black Mesa Research Facility, Black Mesa, New Mexico. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. Howdy. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The oh. time is... The Barney? 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees. Wow. With an estimated high of 105 Ooh, it's a hot one out the there today. The compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Oh, good. Yeah, so we're in New Mexico. We're underground, or will be soon. And this is where we work as Gordon Freeman. And we have a long tram tram ride. I think it's like maybe five or six minutes. Well, we got a loading screen. <laughs> oh, that was quick, though. How you doing, buddy? facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. Is that a missile? Ooh, it's a big if you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. All right, I think this is where we go down. Look at that vista, it's beautiful. New Mexico, hi. We're going down to test lab C. Uh, see you later. Oh, yeah, here we go. Due here to the high go. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, Eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa Transit System. Yeah, so we're not underground just yet, but I think we're going to be heading into the mountain right there. Apparently, I don't have a zoom yet, but I think we get a zoom function once we get our hazmat suit on. Which is going to happen very, very soon before we get to the test lab. We have to get our, our hazmat suit Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. Seems like common sense. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. Oh. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. 
Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Hmm. That looks like a military helicopter. Interesting. Although I do imagine Black Mesa has military contracts, so that's normal. Just another normal day here at work at the Black Mesa Research Facility. Deep underground working on secret experiments and alien technologies and all that fun stuff. Oh, is that Barney? Hey, Barney! It's me, Gordon. Let me in. Very high security here. Highly trained security forces as well. Thanks. I don't think you can hear us unless it's an intercom system. All right, we'll see you later. Yes, salute. Salute to you too. We'll get a beer later. Bye. He's a good man, that Barney. Uh, Barney. Okay, I thought we were stuck. Just closing the door behind us. Like I said, super high security. There we go. All right. Look both ways. Seems clear. And we're going left. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. So, we are Gordon Freeman, age 27, a smart fella, or fat smella, as they say, with a PhD from MIT in theatrical physics. <laughs> what are they doing down there? I wouldn't get too close to that thing. It looks dangerous. Clearance Do level you have three. A friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. Wait, did she say theoretical physics? Oh no, I have a, I have a degree in theatrical physique. Uh-oh. I may not be qualified for this job. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Well, we'll just fake it. <laughs> I love that. Robot. That's awesome. I love how there's just people milling about. Makes it look alive. Things are happening here. Just another day on the job. Doing theatrical physique a to stuff. All Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive you. or other hazardous materials oh boy. in the course that of doesn't look good. contact your radiation oh. safety officer That's the guy. immediately. That's the boss man. Work safe. Work smart. You see him? You see that guy over there? Black suit. The man of mystery. And this does not look good. Yeah, that, the, hey, can you clean that up a little bit? Oh, that guy's trying to get out. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Oh, this is it. This is, this is our stop right here. Sweet. Awesome. All right, we finally get to go to work. back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. No, I'm late. I got to get to work. Sitting the train. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Oh. Thank you. Right. And oh, have a geez. very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Oh, hi. How's it going, Barney, like right? You're running late. I am running late. Yep. Thanks. Appreciate it. I slept in. What are you up to? What's up? How we doing? You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. You're not Barney. This is not Barney. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Oh, Barney and that bar tab. Guy had to punch it in. I'm not looking over your shoulder. Yeah, oh. Mm hmm. Talk with the personnel. Are you personnel? Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Pep in the step. Let's go. Hey, John. It's me, Freeman. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Yeah, I did. It was getting kind of long. Sell up. Hey, have you ever washed a ponytail, buddy? You have no idea. It's totally overrated, trust me. 
All right, have a good day. All right, let's get to our uh, hey, assigned Mr. Freeman. position. Hey, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Uh, it's one of those days, I guess. Can I pick stuff you up in this game? I forget. Oh, yeah. Problems <laughs> down in the test chamber, too. Oh. I think that's all straightened out. Test you told chamber. Me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you've gotten to your hazard suit. Yep, I'm going. Uh, all right, thanks. So I gotta go down here and press the button because that's funny. Everybody. Hey, it's Why it wasn't me? It was the guy in the white suit. Hi, Polly. Hi, Polly. Oh, she's busy. <laughs> so many little secrets in this game. I don't remember morning, all of them. Dr. Good morning to you too, Doctor. Doctor. Protection system seems to be online now. Bernie. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Uh, they were talking about Our TPS reports. So boring. Oh, so boring. Look at that. Howdy. Freeman actually did show up for Ha ha ha. Yeah, I did. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Oh, good morning, <laughs> Freeman. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Shut up. Samples. Test chamber. All right. Yep, we're heading down to the good test morning, chamber. Gordon. Good morning to you, too, guy. All right. I don't think we need to talk to everybody. Let's go. Get our hazmat suit, which is probably in the personnel. That is the green bar. Let's follow the green green bar. We don't really need to talk to anyone, do we? I don't think so. Oh, hi. What's up? Ooh, can I have another day, another dollar? Another day, another dollar. Oh, donuts. Mine. Call them. I think we can turn this on, right? Yeah. And doesn't it explode? It's been a long time since I played this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you, you put it out way too high. What's wrong with you? Run. We can't run yet. We can't sprint until we get our suit, I think. Is this it right here? Oh, here it is. It's the locker room. That tie is ridiculous. Why would you wear that tie? This is our locker right here. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, That. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a box. I didn't want the box. That right there is a suit upgrade, right? Shield upgrade thing. Oh, look at the look at the kid. Aw. It's my degree. Alright, let's go get the suit it's over here. Just gonna press the button. I do this every day, trust me. I'm a professional. And then over here we go. And grab it. Oop. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Feels good. Impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors. Oh, yeah. Activated. Vital sign monitoring. Ah, activated. I remember my Automatic days in the hazardous environment suit. <laughs> it's nice, right? Weapons? Thank you, suit. Appreciate it. All right, now we got the suit, and it feels good. Now we can, oh yeah, we can zoom. We can sprint, um, and we have a flashlight now too. Fantastic. All right, now we can go. Um, Excuse me, minor emergency. <laughs> What's up? What can I do for you? Hello? <laughs> you? I think you need toilet paper. There we go. I got your TP right here, buddy. Grab it. Oh, oh thanks, sorry. Heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. <laughs> Hold on. Got another roll here. Let me just let me just drop it. Let me just drop it. There we go. Is there no crouch toggle? I don't think so. All right, there you go. Okay, uh, enjoy. Let's get out of here. Let's get to work. We got work to do. Uh, red red light means locked. You can't get through it. If I recall correctly. So we're just going to run down. I think we have to follow the blue line this time. Oh, yeah. Man, we can really fly in the suit. It's awesome. Good morning. Hi, Mal. Right on through, sir. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, what you looking at? Looks like you're in the barrel today. I'm in the barrel. Oh, great. Love the barrel. Barrel's my favorite. Beep, beep. Ah, Freeman. What? Do I know you? <laughs> Does this just go around? I think it just goes around. <laughs> yeah, it just goes around. All right, we gotta go down the elevator. All right. Here we go. Can't wait. I love my job. Love my job. Although, I think they're gonna be a little sore at us because we're late. There we go. All right, we better hustle. We better hustle. What's going Did on? Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. 
<gasps> Holy smokes, you guys should do something about that fluctuation. Mm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Uh -huh. Double check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Definitely Brewster's plates. I would check the Brewster's plates. And the ball bearings. Don't forget the ball bearings. What's up, Doc? What's up? Hello. How we doing? We're here. What can we do? Apparently, we don't do anything with them. <laughs> hey, can't you just throw your, uh, your your can in the trash? I meant the, I meant the soda can, by the way. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. If another instrument malfunctions Heck is wrong today, with you people. I'm going to Get in there. Oh. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Dude, don't talk like that. Don't talk about exploding, because your wish may come true very, very soon. <laughs> All right, in we go. Ah, Hi. Gordon. Yep. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. Ha ha, we very just funny. just sent the sample down to the test chamber. Ooh. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105% bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. Mm -hmm. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In, In the, the test, test chamber. chamber. Right. <laughs> Come on, that. then. I'll walk you down. Don't I, can I have a coffee first? Hey, you people. All work and no play. Makes Polly Eli a dull boy. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Eli. All right. Let's not make Reason, Eli wait. Eli. Oh, hi, Eli. I trust this morning finds you well. Jeez, everybody's Gordon. pushy around here. Good hi. Morning. Hi, Eli. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes. Uh huh. They're a bit strange to just. Changes? Oh. What you, whoa, watch out. Incoming. It's, to go critical. it's. Oh, yeah, it's gone critical. Here, let. Wait, hold on a second. Here, let's put that what back. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? Uh, it looks bad. It Never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. I get the we'll picture. Be but a moment. I get the picture. All right, don't forget another board over here. All right, uh, we gotta go down. Oh, wait, can I just jump? Apparently not. We'll take the elevator. Fine. Do it the old-fashioned way. We. Okay, test chamber C coming up. I love it down here. I love it down here. Ghost. Huh? The radiation level is off the charts. Huh. Holy cow, dude. So, do something about that. You know, All these smart people. Give me some space, Freeman. Right. All right. Greetings and salutations, Dr. Freeman. What'd you say to me? Ew, your head, man. Hi. Oh, there We're here are. for work. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. I bet they have. Ooh, two doors uh, there. Here he is. Very highly secure. Hi. I'm afraid we'll be... Deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can mm. say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I'm a highly trained professional, let me in. You got this covered, guys. Don't worry about it. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Thanks, guys. <laughs> they have so much to say sometimes, and other times they don't talk much. Oh. Testing. Testing. I hear you. <laughs> Everything seems to be in order. Seems good. All right, we got to go up here and press oh, a button. All right, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. Uh -huh. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Roger that. Here we go. Pressing the button. <laughs> My favorite part. Love it. 
Oh, I love my job. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. Oh yeah! I'm seeing predictable phase of these. Uh-huh, me too. Predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, corner, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Or how long the reading will take. Oh, right. Please work as quickly as you can. Right, I'm going down. We gotta push the thing. It's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready for you. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Yeah, I'm already there. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's put our theatrical physique degree to work here. Standard insertion. Here we go. Non-standard specimen. Standard insertion. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What I do? What I shut it down? Shut it down. Oh my. Oh my. It's not shutting down. I better get the high ground. Uh oh. Guys. Hey guys, you should shut it down. Oh, uh, what did I do? They said I was qualified for this job with my theatrical physique, liberal arts degree. Apparently, oh, ow. Uh, apparently they were wrong. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. This seems bad. Oh, hi. Uh, name's Gordon. What you eating? <laughs> okay, let's back away slowly. What the? Shh, don't move. Uh, I think I think they spotted us. No touchy. Unforeseen consequences. Uh, well, this is what happens when you have a, a non-standard specimen with a standard insertion, apparently. The bad things happen. All right, now, let's get out with it. We got to get out of here. Can we get out this way? Ooh, bloody handprint. Um, just stick my face in there. There we go. Come on, you can do it, door. This is the double door. Up we go. We got to crouch here. Oh, hey, Doc. How we doing? Oh gosh, is he gonna make it? Aww. Let's see if he's dropped a gun or something over here. I don't think we get a gun for a long time. All right, we gotta go. We'll catch up to you later. Oh. Eh, unauthorized biological forms. What does that mean, Doc? That does not sound good. Man, it's really dark. Is it really super dark for you guys? I'm going to have to turn up the brightness a little bit, I think. Um, that's dead end. We want to go this way. Got to get to the surface. Get that out of here. Get out of there. Out of there. Here we go. All right, up. Oh, guys. Guys, there was a failure. I tried to warn you. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. I am. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. Mm -hmm. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> oh. My God. What the? What have we done? What have you done? What have you done? Fascinating. Dude, don't get so close. Can't let him out. <laughs> What's that? Science team going to help me out. Yes, they will. Keep that suit on until you're in the clear. Well, of course. 
I'm not taking this thing off. What do I look like to you? Theatrical physicist? Thanks! Alright, thanks, Eli. I got a bad feeling about this. This place reminds me... Yep, that's what I was waiting for. I knew that there was bad things happening here. I think we have to wait for that beam to blast our scientist colleague. Sorry, pal! But you gotta go, and now we gotta go. Shift for sprint. So we're still in the tutorial phase here of the game. <laughs> Learning how to sprint. Oh, look at this guy burning. Oh, look at the shadow. That looks amazing. Is it hot? It's hot. All right, we gotta get out of here. Sector C. Security personnel. Yes. Very, very bad here in Sector C. Door opens easily enough. Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. Laser beams. Get down. He's a fast crawler. <laughs> He'll die sooner or later. Yep, they do burn nicely, those aliens. My favorite kind of aliens. The burny kind. Alright, right under that laser beam. Does that not open something up for us, too, if I recall? Whoa! Alright, just stay down. I do wish this game had a crouch toggle, though. I don't like having to hold it down. I hear somebody saying something over here. Hello? Hello? Open the door! Oh, you just jump right in. Cool. Help. Oh, somebody's yelling for help. Alright, hold on! Hold on, I think the elevator's out. It's okay, I'm a professional. I've got a degree in theatrical physics, and I think I can help you. Uh, all right, I got the toolbox. Nope, that didn't work. What? Oh. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, I guess I'll stick to the theatrical physics. <laughs> I just go right through the window, that's hilarious. Um, we have to go down, where's the ladder? Right, we'll take the ladder. That's the smart way down. That's the smart way. Get off the ladder. Get your butt off the ladder. Oh, get off the ladder. Uh, oh, wait. We don't want to go down. We want to go up. I think we want to go up, right? That's the whole point is to go up.